Tina, so you got the camera installed on the RV. Now here is the display. Yes, this is the display. Oh, wow. It's yes. all touch screen. So it's all touch screen, honey. Upgrade, baby. Upgrade. Upgrade. So it's touch screen, but you have two different ways that you can actually mount this. This is like 3M sticky adhesive that you could put on your dash and leave it there. Since the RV is not going to be hooked up to my vehicle all the time, I don't think I want that there. That just might be a distraction. So I'm actually going to use the suction cup that is actually... Windshield mount? A windshield... Okay. It's still a suction cup. It is. Right. Okay. Windshield mount will be going up on my windshield and then I will attach the camera right here. The display. Yeah. Okay. Y'all knew what I was talking about, didn't you? So, in review, the windshield mount will go on the windshield. Uh-huh. And then this piece is where I will hook the display. How's that, teacher? Great. So, let's make sure <laughs> all that work we did installing the camera on the RV, let's make sure it actually works. Okay. Are you ready to turn on the uh, I display? Am. So, before we even mount it up there. Yes. Let's let's make sure. Let's it works. make sure your connections and the wiring and everything. Okay, works. okay. So that takes us to the next, the, our next little piece. So then we have wires for connection. This one is for the cigarette lighter, and then this one is USB. So which which route are you gonna go? I'm gonna go USB. Okay. Some people don't have a USB. Right, which is uh, why they give mount, you... So you get that. Right. So you want to go with the USB. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to take this little twisty off. And I'm going to get my display. And here's the port right here. So speaking of your display, you can also... Uh, insert an SD card if you wanted to save some footage. Ooh. Fancy smash. Turn around the back of it, the camera. Mm -hmm. Oh, right there. Uh, tip it over. I can't yes. tell. So you can put oh, right an SD here. card right there if you wanted to save some of your footage. Okay, footage. All right. Okay, so this is for the antennas. So yeah, so let's go ahead and mount your antennas. Do we antennas. need to put both of them on? You there? do. You need both antennas. Okay. If you want maximum reception, everything, I'd recommend everything we book. do is maximum. We want maximum That's correct. for everything. So let's go ahead and get those screwed on. Guys, what would she do without me? I'm just saying. How are they supposed to be? Straight up. Or you can put them to the side. Just... Like that? Yeah, but that may be in the way, so you, you so can kind of bend, bend them, them to the like side. Like whatever way yeah. you need to have them. Uh, let's make sure it works, sir. Before okay. we start doing all that. So we're going to put it into the USB. Oh! <laughs> well, that don't mean that. Uh, <laughs> hey, mean? look! <laughs> it's working! Look! Hey! Are you a light song? Hey! Hey! Hey, um, I don't know right now. What do you mean? Are you I guess I do have the I have the light switch on. Yes. It's working because it's producing power. Wow, look at that. Katina's first installation and it worked the very first time. So wow, that Wait, is clear. I'm still can you get the rest of my celebration dance? Hey, hey, okay. hey, hey. All right, that's I, enough. Fe I feel that you've turned the camera off of me. I'm about to turn the camera <laughs> off. I felt it. Down deep. Come on, man. Let's go. Yes, that is. Look at it clear. It is very clear. Uh, so let's mount it first on the windshield and then we'll do some of the settings. Okay, let's do it. So the camera is working and it's super, super easy to use. Everything is right here for you on touch screen. When you get the camera, it is automatically set to default to camera four. So that's what we have it. So you could actually have other cameras set up here, like a dash cam, side cams if you wanted to. So you actually can come over here into your settings, 
show parking lines if you want to. If you want to record, you can. This allows you to mirror your image so that what you are seeing behind you is exactly what's behind you. You can have your, oh, let me put it back up, your volume, all of that good stuff, and playback what you recorded. So for sure, if you want to record something, you definitely want to have your SD card. But, baby, camera is installed. 